All right, everyone, I am in Flint, Michigan. I'm up here in the northeast corner off Notorious Dort Highway, which is right here. So that is, uh, I'm gonna go down Dort first. Uh, I'm in, I guess, an area of town they call the State Streets and widely considered the most dangerous part of town by a lot of people anyway yeah so we're going to take a look but let's get out on Dort Highway known for things like drug dealing and prostitutes the colorful street that runs through town I guess you could say then I'm going to head down Bennett and uh, go over to Franklin and then I'll be pretty much in the heart of what is called the state streets. And it's called that because all the streets here are named after states, U.S. states. I just passed Oklahoma, I just passed Delaware. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was reading on Reddit that this is part of town that you don't come to. head down Bennett and then we'll go to uh, Franklin will be in the heart of the State Street area but I'm going to tell you about the town as we do that now uh, settlers first came here in the early 1800s and Flint flourished because of the uh, lumber industry now lumber what do you use lumber for? Of course you use it to build things. It's like an old church over there. Including carriages. Horse-drawn carriages. And by the late uh, 1800s, Flint had become one of the top carriage manufacturers in the world. And uh, so, what comes next? Well, you're already making carriages. GM was founded here in 1908 and uh, started manufacturing vehicles. And so, Flint became known as Vehicle City. By 1978, 80,000 people worked for GM here but then the collapse came GM started moving uh, you know jobs to foreign shores cheaper manufacturing and today there are 7,500 people working for GM so what happens you get a lot of people leaving town leaving their homes and basically the city collapsed um, peak population of the city was in 1960. There were 197,000 people here. Today there are a little over 80,000. And um, this is well, this is what you see everywhere as you drive around the town. Anyway, um, of course, with that kind of massive population loss, you don't have tax revenue. So the city has uh, had a lot of tragedy, if you will. It's flirted with bankruptcy for, I don't know, past 30, 40 years. Um, of course, we all know about the water situation. The city, because it has less money, switched to the Flint River for its water supply. Uh, pipes were corroded and by 2014 over 100,000 residents had been exposed to lead poisoning including something like 20,000 children. Uh, the town today still the residents
residents still do not trust the local city leaders, and who can blame them? Yeah, you can just see it's um, it's everywhere. But there is a Dollar General. Always a Dollar General, isn't there? south here shortly. So I'll look around here a little bit more. I know there's an old school that burned down here that they've just left up. Okay, see a lot of this caught on fire. Looks like that one caught on fire too. Yeah, kind of reminds you of Detroit and Gary. Abandoned homes everywhere. Yeah, this is the school. Yeah. That's something. It's crazy. Missouri now. I'm going to um, head back out to Dort and go south and we'll start ringing the city. Let's take another look at this. Somebody's mowing the lawn though. That's fitting, huh? Anyway, so here's some information about the city. I'll, uh, I'll start telling it to you. We already told you about the population. The metro population is uh, a little over 400,000 people. So as I was telling you, uh, I was reading message boards from YouTube and other websites, including Reddit. And basically, what I got out of it was a nice downtown with some beautiful neighborhoods there, a huge slum that rings the city, and then really nice suburbs. Uh, that makes sense. With a metro of 400,000, a little over, that's suggesting that we've got uh, a little over 300,000 people living just outside of town. And I passed through some of the suburbs, and yes, they're really nice. So you've got this huge slum surrounded by suburbs and of course the nice city center anyway a little more information i'm on dort now again dort highway i'm gonna head south here and then uh, you know take a right and i'll just start circling the downtown but anyway uh, median age here is 37. Uh, the biggest population group is people age 20 to 29 they make up 15% of the population. So there are some younger people here. 
51 percent of the town is male uh 49 percent female i am continuing south on dort highway another thing i forgot to mention is there are lots of strip clubs on dort i have noticed several <laughs> Uh, some of are closed. I am uh, kind of getting south of the city now, so I'm going to uh, make a right-hand turn here first. But I want to show you a place that is beloved here. So we'll check that out. In the meantime, I'm just going to just give you a look. Dort Highway, uh, one of the aforementioned gentlemen's clubs here on Dort. But that's not the place I'm wanting to show you. I'll get there in a second. Now this is uh, the machine shop. It is a very highly regarded live music venue. A lot of major uh, acts have played here. Uh, the people in the town love it, love this place. So I figured I better show it to you. It uh, sounds like it's a pretty cool place. You might have read about it. Anyway, there it is, the machine shop. Uh, here's a shopping mall that has seen its best days but there are still businesses here uh, it is right off Dort Highway as well all right let's see I'm south of downtown now um, a little bit southwest show you on the map I started up here this is Dort and now I'm going to cut across below downtown, south of downtown, right here on Atherton. The name of the street. Uh, and I'll give you some more info about Flint as we do that. Um, let's see. 55% of the town is black. 33% white, 5% Hispanic, 1% Asian, 1% Native American, and uh, last 5% is mixed. Actually looks pretty nice over here. I mean, they're not huge homes, but um, they seem well taken care of. Median household income is $37,000 a year. That's uh, a little over $700 a week. I think what I'm going to do is make a right-hand turn here. Let's see the neighborhoods here south of downtown, or a little bit anyway. Take a quick look because uh, what I'm seeing looks pretty good. What do you guys think? This is um, not slum-like at all. And this is not on the list of uh, nice neighborhoods in town. But yeah, there's nothing wrong here. Well, as I cruise along Atherton, uh, basically skirting the south of the city, south of downtown, here's some more information. Uh, poverty, really high, 27%. Children 17 and under, 34%. Uh, folks 65 and older, 19%. All those numbers are about twice higher than the uh, U.S. average as a whole. Oh, liquor store. I don't think it's open now.
Um, let's see some of the other numbers that stick out. 29% of the town is married. U.S. average is 50. Uh, median home value, 49,000. Uh, you guys who watch my channel, you know, we see that all the time in smaller towns in rural America, especially really poor places, you know, Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Oklahoma. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's one of the lowest median home values I've ever seen in a good sized city. Well, let's see, I'm heading north on Fenton Street. Let me uh, pull over and show you on the map. Party store right here, and it's open. Uh, just let me show you on the map where I'm at. Uh, you can see downtown's here, so I'm kind of heading north, or I am heading north, towards downtown, but uh, west of it. I'll see what's over here. You know what, let's go in and check out the neighborhoods here it's not looking quite as good as the uh, one I showed to you previous you're seeing a lot of abandoned homes here all right I'm back at Fenton so I'm just gonna cut a right here that'll take me north towards downtown a little bit west We'll continue to circle. Well, I want to take a quick short turn in here. What's it look like here, neighborhood wise? I mean, you know, it's it's not a rich town. Uh, that is obvious. I had read that they have torn down a lot of houses here. Well, here's a house for sale. When you guys want to look it up, uh, let me see what street I'm on. Here's another look at it. Eleven twenty nine. Find out what the street is up here. We got a cat though. Yeah, he's busy snacking on whatever's here in the street. He don't care care about me at all, does he? Oh, there he goes. Anyway, uh, let's see what the name of the street is. Uh, we can, or one of you guys can see what that house is selling for. What does a house like that sell for in a town with a median home, uh, home value of 50,000? That one, that one is abandoned. Let's see, no street name. All right, I'm gonna have to turn around and see if I can find the name of the street. All right, this is the name of the street, Lincoln. Had to go uh, several blocks down to find a street sign, but there it is. Now, you internet sleuths can check and see how much that house is selling for. I'm uh, in another residential area, just off Fenton. R.I.P. Sherry. Yeah, I wonder if someone was murdered there. It's possible. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know if anybody's living in these. I'm not supposed to be here. It's possible. Uh, um, auto 
shop that is closed down. Yeah, a lot of a lot of empty businesses here. You can really see the decay. Uh, you can really see it here. This guy's doing. Oh, they're gonna work, it looks like. Former cleaners. I uh, stopped here. Because I saw what looks like maybe a hotel at one time. Not sure. But I like all this artwork on the building. It's setting empty. It's uh, pretty cool. Well, I've got a dead end here, so I'm going to have to cut a left and head west. I am west of downtown, still a little south. Now you can see me there. This is downtown. Um, the area has changed pretty drastically. This is the part of town I guess you don't hear much about in the news. You can see for yourself. What is that? Is that a... I don't know if you guys saw that. I thought it was a cat at first. It's not. It looked like a... I don't know what that was. It looked like a beaver can't be a beaver here though I'm out of my mind obviously uh, beautiful homes here though all right I'm gonna head north a little bit more but uh, yeah here's one of the incredible neighborhoods in town I am directly west of downtown uh, I'm driving on Kettering University, the campus. Yeah, if you look on the map, you can see. Directly west of downtown. In fact, we can see downtown uh, here in the distance. Let's see if I can get you a shot. There it is. That's downtown Flint, right there. We'll be heading there shortly, and we'll talk about crime when we get there. But anyway, this is one of two universities in town. Um, University of Michigan Flint being the other. Really nice here. Well, you're seeing the blight return. Abandoned house here and there. Right here. That is definitely empty. That one too. or where it has lost its population and people just abandoned their homes. Well, I'm about to turn onto Chevrolet Street or Chevrolet Avenue. Let me get that right. Wow, right off the bat. What is this I see? Kind of looks like an abandoned school.
that what that is? Yeah, that's what that looks like. Now you can see I am northwest of downtown. Let's take a look up here. Welsh Boulevard cutting across north of downtown looks like another abandoned school uh, Cook does that say Cook Elementary Let's see if I can get a better look at it You know what's amazing is across the street from that house, that looks like a mansion over there, even though it's in pretty bad condition. But yeah, you can see the school. Let me show it to you. Yeah, this school is abandoned. That is evident. church maybe yeah I guess it's burned down yeah that's what happened you can see the smoke marks Wow that's crazy now you may be wondering where does the name Flint come from I was Flint sounds automotive kind of, doesn't it? Or I guess what a Flint is, is what he used to light a fire. Anyway, it is a Native American word, or it comes from Native Americans. They call the river that runs through town here, which is the Flint River. Uh, they called it, I can't pronounce this, Pawanunking. I will uh, flash it on the screen there. There's the word, but the word translates into River of Flint. And so that's how the town got its name. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm still north here. I'm actually getting close to Dort again. Almost made a complete circle. I have returned to the State Streets area. I just passed Iowa. And there's Minnesota. So I'm up here in the northwest part of town again. Uh, that's Cronk. That's not a state street. Yeah, and there's Franklin. Just give me a look. I'm cruising down Davison, by the way. back to where I started. I am just east of downtown on Maxine Street. Uh, there are street after street of homes that look like this.
beautiful neighborhood. Lots of trees. That's really nice. I am in Carriage Town, uh, old historic neighborhood. Uh, some really interesting architecture here. This one is empty. It's got a mural painted on the side, though. That's an interesting look. It's great old houses, though, aren't they? Yeah, these are really old, you can tell. On the very edge of downtown. going on there. Particularly historic home, I guess. I really like the colors. Really interesting colors on these houses. Yeah, look at this one across the street here. awesome, isn't it? Now this one, wow, it really needs some paint. It's almost like they're leaving it like this on purp. Well, no, maybe not. Interesting. Interesting look there. I am downtown now, on foot. Immediately I see this beautiful theater. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And it is in operation. Uh, let me swing around here. See one of the buildings of downtown. This is the main street of downtown that I'm approaching, so I'll head that way. And we'll talk a bit. It was difficult to find a place to park. While that was not good for me, that's good for the city, a good sign. Uh, there's a lot of people down here. It appears to be a pretty vibrant downtown. Uh, anyway, so let's get up here and we'll get a closer look. All right, this is the main street. Uh, it is Saginaw, is the name of it. Let me come out here and give you a look. It is beautiful, isn't it? Uh, it's, wow, it's really nice. I am really liking what I see here. Well, let's talk about the one last thing as I wander down the uh, main street here. A lot of great old buildings here. Anyway, yeah, we better talk about crime. Now, initially, or when I looked at the numbers right off the bat, they didn't look bad. Crime here last year was 20 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23. Uh, so, overall, overall crime is lower. But that's where it ends. You know, most cities, uh, the crime rate breaks down with the property crime being uh, usually about 80, 90 percent. And uh, violent crime much lower, 5, 10, maybe 15 percent, but not here. Here in Flint, violent crime is over half the total crime. Violent crime here in the latest numbers were 1,041 per 100,000 people. Now here's a list of the cities over 100,000. You can see that Flint is just below the top 20. I found it interesting that Lansing was 17th. 
Uh, here's the top 10. Of course, Detroit's way up there. So Michigan has two cities in the top 20, and these are cities over 100,000 people. Uh, but Lansing is second. I would have thought Flint was second. Lansing will be the next video, by the way, so I will be looking at that city with different eyes, for sure. But anyway, back to Flint. So overall crime, a little bit below the top 20, but it's the murders that are bad here. Last year, 39 per 100K. Uh, that would make it 10th in the U.S. if it was on the list of cities over 100,000. Now, there's uh, only 80,000 people here. That's why it's not on the list. But just gives you an idea of what the crime, the murder rate is here in relation to the cities that generally or that do have the highest murder rates in the country. So uh, crime is an issue here, specifically murder. But uh, they've done a beautiful job on this downtown. It's really nice. All right, everyone, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I just wanted to give you a look at Flint, you know, the whole city, the downtown and the area around it. It's pretty interesting, wasn't it? Um, next up, Lansing, and I will have Nicole with me for that one, so uh, we'll see you then.